In setting IP address for server and client you must first enable the all the sharing options except the password. First locate the LAN icon at the lower right of the screen. Second click the change advanced sharing settings at the upper left of the screen. Third turn on all the sharing options except for the password. Click save changes then close it. Now disable the firewall of the server. First click start icon and lower left of the screen. In search box, type firewall.cpl then select the shown icon. Click the turn windows firewall on or off at the left side. Turn off windows firewall options. Repeat the procedures to the client PC. First locate the LAN icon at the lower right of the screen. Second click the change advanced sharing settings at the upper left of the screen. Third turn on all the sharing options except for the password. Click save changes then close it. Now disable the firewall of the client. First click start icon in lower left of the screen in search box, type firewall.cpl then select the shown icon. Click the turn windows firewall on or off at the left side then turn off windows firewall options. Click OK button. Now let's proceed in configuring the IP address of server PC. Locate the LAN icon at the lower right of the screen. Select change adapter settings. Click local area connection. Under local area connection status, click properties. Choose internet protocol version 4, TCP slash IPv4, and click properties. Take use the following IP address and manually configure the IP address, subnet mask, default gateway and DNS. On IP address type 192.168.25.2. On subnet mask just tick the box to auto populate. On default gateway type the IP address of the router which is 192.168.25.1. On preferred DNS type 127.0.0.1 Click OK button, and close it Do this steps in client PC as well Locate the LAN icon at the lower right of the screen. Select Change Adapter Settings. Click Local Area Connection. Under Local Area Connection Status click Properties. Choose Internet Protocol Version 4, TCP slash IPv4, and click Properties. Take use the following IP address and manually configure the IP address, subnet mask, default gateway and DNS. On IP address type 192.168.25.3 On subnet mask just tick the box to auto populate On default gateway type the IP address to the server which is 192.168.25.2 On preferred DNS type 192.168.25.2 Don't forget to always refresh your local area network every time you change your IP address. Right click on LAN settings and click disable. And enable it right away.
Now let's check the connectivity between the server and the client. Go to start and type CMD in the search bar and hit enter. Type ipconfig, to show the static configuration you've set on particular PC. Ping the server's address, 192.168.25.3. This allows you to send signal to client PC and check if the client will reply to the server. Repeat the procedures to the client PC. Go to start and type CMD in the search bar and hit enter. Type ipconfig. Now try to ping the target computer, server's address, and it should receive a reply. The process of setting static addressing to the server side is the same with setting in the client computer. You must secure connectivity or it must have a reply from server to client and vice versa in order to proceed to the next unit of competence.